count on India. I mean, India is uh, one of the most uh, advanced uh, pharmaceutical industries. It demonstrates again India's uh, leadership of the world. We A series of events as they happened in India from last one year. December 31, 2019 27 cases of pneumonia of unknown cause were detected in Wuhan city, in China. January 2020 India's first novel coronavirus patient, a student studying at Wuhan University, was reported in Kerala Stressur district. March 8, 2020 COVID-19 cases reported in 100 countries of the world, with more than 1 lakh cases worldwide. March 25, 2020 A nationwide lockdown was imposed till April 14. April 2020 The number of cases in April increased nearly 23 times as compared to March. May 2020 India overtook China in terms of the total number of cases reported. June 2020 DCGI approves Bharat Biotech's coronavirus vaccine for human trials, India's first domestically developed vaccine. July 2020 The total cases in the country crossed 1 million. September was the worst as the daily caseload increased from 70,000 to nearly 1 lakh. Some relief in November. Daily cases have come down from 45,000 to 38,000. Envoys of 80 countries visited COVID-19 vaccine firm in Hyderabad in December 2020. It demonstrates again India's uh, leadership of the world. We because governments around the world uh, are focused on the COVID vaccine and of course I mean Hyderabad which produces a third of all vaccines globally each year. Uh, what we've seen today is reassuring. It demonstrates again the strength of India's uh, innovation and pharmaceutical sectors. It demonstrates again India's uh, leadership of the world because without what we've seen today I think many countries around the world would suffer in terms of delays and access to how do you see india's role in uh, covid vaccine development all over the world there are so many players but how do you see india's role in this now there are many vaccines being produced in countries around the world but there's only one country that has the manufacturing capacity to produce sufficient quantities to satisfy the demand of citizens in every country and that's india now, this is another example of a moment in which India will shine. Human phase 3 trials have been taken uh, to the, uh, in 25 hospitals, 26,000 volunteers, uh, and this is the largest human phase 3 trial ever, efficacy trial to be done in India. Third Jan. India has approved COVID-19 vaccines, Serum Institute of India's Covishield and Bharat Biotech's Covaxin. 13th Jan Bharat Biotech successfully ships its COVID-19 vaccine Covaxin to 11 cities in India. 16th Jan India begins one of the world's biggest coronavirus vaccination programs. India spent much of the year battling internal issues, but current lack of global leadership from the US and the EU means that India can no longer afford to focus inwards. Rather, the government is aiming to export more vaccines and provide greater aid to struggling nations. Let us see how India turned to world saviour from Covid worst hit nation. Jan 20, 2021
India believes in Vasu the Kakutumbukam and started helping neighboring countries by gifting vaccines while managing internal demand. India sends over 20 lakh free doses of COVID-19 vaccine to Bangladesh and Bhutan. India is working on plans to scale up vaccine manufacture to supply to as many as almost 100 countries in the coming months. Bhutan received vaccines from India in January. Here is the message from Prime Minister of Bhutan to India after receiving the COVID vaccines. Let's see what Prime Minister of Bhutan says after receiving vaccines from India. It is of unimaginable value when precious commodities are shared even before meeting your own needs, as opposed to giving out only after you have enough. It is one of the best comments made about vaccine donations. Afghanistan receives the vaccines from India. Here is Afghanistan Foreign Minister's message. My profound gratitude to my friend Jajinka, the government and People of India for assisting 5 lakh doses of Made in India vaccines to address COVID spread in Afghanistan. A clear sign of generosity commitment and strong partnership indeed. Bill Gates has sent a message to Prime Minister of India. He says, It is great to see India's leadership in scientific innovation and vaccine manufacturing capability as the world works to end the COVID-19 pandemic. Message from President of Maldives A short while ago, a flight from India with a 1 lakh doses of the Covishield vaccine arrived in Maldives, renewing our hopes for a resolution to the COVID-19 crisis soon. Our heartfelt thanks to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, government and people of India for this most generous gift. Message from Oman Heartfelt thanks to our close friends in India. We stand united against COVID-19 and this initiative is a testimony of the bonds of friendship and cooperation between our governments and peoples. Message from President Rajapaksha Received 5 lakh COVID vaccines provided by people of India. Thank you, Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi and people of India for the generosity shown towards people of Sri Lanka at this time in need. Prime Minister of Nepal receiving vaccines from India. Message from Prime Minister of Nepal. I thank Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji as well as government and people of India for the generous grant of 1 million doses of COVID vaccine to Nepal at this critical time, when India is rolling out vaccination for its own people. Message from Prime Minister of Dominica Even though I trust every word of the Bible, I must confess that I did not imagine that the prayers of my country would have been answered so swiftly. Thank you India. I'd like to take this opportunity once again to express my heartfelt thanks and appreciation to Prime Minister Modi, his government and the citizens of India.
UN Secretary General described India's vaccine production capacity as the best in the world. Count on India. I mean, India is uh, one of the most uh, advanced uh, pharmaceutical industries. Uh, India played a very important role in the uh, production of generics uh, for use. That was, I would say, a, a very important element of democratization of access uh, to medicines all over the world. Uh, I, I, I appealed once again today for uh, licenses to be made available in order for uh, companies around the world to be able to produce some of the vaccines that already exist. I know that uh, in India there is a production, a very high level of production, both of uh, uh, Indian developed vaccines and uh, I think there is a perspective, very important perspective of also um, uh, other, uh, others uh, and we are in contact with Indian institutions for that and, uh, uh, and we strongly hope that uh, um, India will have all the instruments uh, that are necessary to play a, a major role uh, in making sure that uh, a global vaccination campaign becomes possible. I think that uh, the production capacity of India is one of the best assets the world has today, and I hope the world understands that it must be fully used. Let us check the facts about Indian vaccine. Why so many countries are in queue for made in India vaccines? There are two main reasons for this. First reason is vaccine is cost effective. Second reason is it is very safe. Indian vaccine cost is way cheaper and safer than any other available COVID vaccines. Indian made vaccine Covaxin also working against new coronavirus variants. Indian vaccine to be released in United States of America. Ocugen and Bharat Biotech announce execution of definitive agreement for the commercialization of Covaxin in the U.S. market. After this agreement Ocugen stock has skyrocketed more than 3,600% and even doubled just last week. Previously little known Ocugen now ranks among the most popular stocks on Robinhood. China's close ally Cambodia seeks Indian vaccine donation. India not only running the world's biggest vaccination drive but also the fastest in vaccinating its citizens. United States message on India's role in sharing millions of doses. We applaud India's role in global health, sharing millions of doses of COVID-19 vaccine in South Asia. India's free shipments of vaccine began with Maldives, Bhutan, Bangladesh and Nepal and will extend to others. India's a true friend using its pharma to help the global community. Prime Minister of Brazil send a Hanuman picture carrying vaccine from India to Brazil. Let us see what he has said. Namaskar Prime Minister Narendra Modi Brazil feels honored to have a great partner to overcome a global obstacle by joining efforts. Thank you for assisting us with the vaccine's exports from India to Brazil. The new world. International News projected India's response to COVID-19 as a disaster in year 2020. In 2021, India proved that all those projections are wrong. Now, India is doing far far better than many developed countries. The Wall Street Journal from United States published an article, which describes India as a vaccine superpower. In 1947, Indian Health Minister Amrit Kaur received three cases of penicillin from Canadian Red Cross. Now, many countries looking at India for vaccine supply. Canada requested India for Corona vaccine supply and it was approved by government. Thanks to our vaccine manufacturers and the government for making us so proud. Thanks for watching this video. Please comment and share this video. Please subscribe for more videos.